hello, hello, hello. How are we, everyone? Hope you're having a lovely day. Let me know what you've been up to. And obviously, most importantly, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Absolute bloody legends. Hope you're getting spoiled rotten and everything anyway. So look after yourselves, fellas. And Reds, it's been a, a great little bit of business today. Liverpool have officially announced Calvin Ramsey from the signing from Aberdeen for £6.5 million, obviously £4 million fee with obviously a top-up of obviously 2.5 anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you are watching live or if you are watching on the repeat as well. Most importantly, if you could do, it really mean a lot to the channel as well. If you could smash that like button as well, take two seconds out of your day, really just help the YouTube algorithm and all of that. Um, and if you are jumping in a live stream, uh, we'll be reading out all your comments as well as we go throughout today's episode. Speed and door, yeah, of course. Um, thank you very much for dropping in, mate, as well. As always, absolute bloody legends. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be talking about, obviously, Calvin Ramsey. Got a little bit of a quote, a couple of images as well. And, and how do you feel this will help Liverpool going into the the, the, cut, the new coming season? Anyway, obviously, Calvin Ramsey, he's done an interview with Liverpool FC today in relation to his unveiling, very highly regarded in Scotland, 18 years old, chipped in with nine assists, one goal last season. He was voted Scot Scottish Young Player of the Year as well. Historically, Liverpool, as we all know, have got a rich history with great legendary Scottish players throughout our 130-odd year history at the football club. There's always been Scottish players in that, at the heart of Liverpool's success, whether that be for the 130 odd years, it's absolutely tremendous. Liverpool would then be successful. We need Scottish players, whether that be Calvin Ramsey, Andy Robbo, as well as we've seen. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this signing, really, everyone. Um, will he play a lot of games? Do you know, Jack? I'm hoping so, mate. Well, I think we all fully anticipate Trent to be playing right back. Um, but judging from his comments today, everyone, he, he, he said in his interview, we can play right-sided of the defence, obviously, i.e. playing right back. But he was quoted as saying he can play in the central midfield role as well. And obviously on the right-hand side of an attacking position as well. So potentially down that right-hand side, up up the other end of the pitch anyway, because he has got the quality uh, in terms of the final third of the pitch. And, and considering that the, the prefiler of real, real attack and talent come what the end of, no disrespect to Aberdeen, but when you've got players that like Luis Diaz, Nunes as well, Bobby Firmino, Jota, uh, Salah as well, players of that ilk in your team and the quality in which Calvin Ramsey does possess as all the scouting departments have I already identified, and not just Liverpool, but a lot of clubs in and around Europe were chasing this, lads. And as Calvin said, I'll get to his little quotes here as well, everyone, but um, you never know. We need a Trent, and I don't know how you felt, everyone, as well. When we all watched that Champions League game, fatigue was an issue for Trent and Robinson going down, especially when we got to the 60th minute when Vinny, Vinny Jr. did score. Yes, you could say potentially our heads did go, but in reality, it was a, the sheer magnitude and the sheer amount of games in which Liverpool, though especially Trent, did play. When Trent isn't fit, we've got no other replacement other than Joe Gomez playing right back. And ideally, the way in which Liverpool do play through the fullbacks, as we all know, Gomez isn't a Trent ilk player. Ramsey is more of a Trent style player. He's still 18 years old. <laughs> He's not going to hit the ground running. And quite rightly, I don't think any of us expect him to Ramsey to hit the ground running. But what he is going to be coming to Liverpool is he's going to develop his game. He's going to be playing behind one of, if not, he is the world's best right back, attacking full back in world football. And Calvin Ramsey, especially with Costas coming in, learning from Andy Robbo down that left. Obviously, Ramsey now um, training. Uh, 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 he's, he's already spoke. I've got the quotes, obviously, in glowing terms of what it means for him to come into this Liverpool setup and play behind, or potentially in about five, six, ten, eight years' time. You never know whatever happens in football, especially if Ramsey does develop into a, i.e., not a right back, but a more forward thinking play. You never know. Um, Jürgen Klopp has spoke highly in his interview of. As Ramsey, he's got the ability and he's got that technical ability. And what he has got, Jürgen was saying in his press today about him, he's got the ability to learn. Now, obviously, he's still 18 years old, but he said uh, how he listens to instructions and everything was a, was a massive factor in which why the Liverpool recruitment did go out and sign this young lad anyway. 
Um, but it'll be interesting, mate. Uh, I don't know nothing about Ramsey, to be fair. Um, but obviously, Klopp um, highly rates him. So that is a good enough for me as well, Data. Yeah, a lot of Liverpool signings. Uh, uh, Fabinho, when he come in, <laughs> you will have people saying, oh, a new Fabinho. Oh, no one knew Fabinho was coming in. It was the day after the Champions League or it was similar, in and around that time that Liverpool announced that deal. It was plucked out of thin air, really. Um, Ramsey, as we've said, 18 years old, nine nine assists, one goal. Um, Scottish League, if you haven't seen it, he was voted Young Scottish Player of the Year. And I'm made up, everyone, I think all of us are, when we do see a young lad coming into Liverpool, whether that be a young player coming in from Liverpool, in which I, we sign them from, i.e. Fulham with Harvey Elliott, and you, you can you can see from his interview. I don't know if you've seen it. There will be a probably an official announcement on. Uh, probably Liverpool have released it, but you already do the 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 the, the, the behind scenes uh, videos in which. But the smile on the young lad's face. He, he's living God's dream. But similar with Trent and all the young players, always wished that we were good at football. In reality, we're just absolutely shocking. Um, <laughs> But it, 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 I love nothing more than seeing a young player get the opportunity at Liverpool and just a, a player that is willing to learn and willing to to progress their career and hopefully win trophies, most importantly. Um, but Data, yeah, he's a he's a bright lad with a bright future, mate, and it's great. I think this sign for Liverpool, Data, with this sign as Ramsey brings Liverpool's um, age range down. Chat, you will probably know, if, if anyone knows the official age range in terms of Liverpool's squad, that does bring it down massively. Um, I know James Milner is 36, 37 years old anyway, but we need Jimmy Milner's experience going into next season. But um, this this does bring down Liverpool's age of the squad massively as well, especially with the signing of Nunes, replacing Sadio Mane, 30-odd for a 22-year-old as well now. So it's really positive. Absolutely looking positive, boys. Boys, a baller, brilliant sign for the club as well. John, obviously, you've, you you being a, a watcher of, obviously, Scottish League football anyway. John, just give us a little thought in the comments, John. Obviously, you know you're a massive fan of Rangers as well. Uh, John, what really impresses you about his game in reality? And um, what stands out, obviously, as, as I mentioned, the stats, his eye for an assist, his eye, eye for going forward, breaking the lines, most importantly as well. So let me know your thoughts on that, John. Um, really would be intrigued to see what you say, mate. Uh, Trent was in the red zone all season, apparently, so he should be picking up a lot of playing time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hundred percent there, mate. I think there was articles off the back of this season just gone, as you said there. The red zones, if you're not aware of that, it was scientifically the data analysis of, of modern day football science people. Um, obviously, Trent, the sheer amount of games if Trent did for the next two to three years play the the exact number of games in which he has done last season, then he I, would be in the red zone and he would technically be more likely to pick up a lot more long-term injuries and have, and have a more detrimental effect in, in reality in terms of him progressing his career. I good example of that is Marcus Rashford at Manchester United played a lot when he was younger and was seeing the, the impacts and, and Michael Owen when he could based onto a scene as, as a as an 18 year old anyway, a young player anyway at Liverpool and I his injuries down the line didn't it very much hampered his career. And that's what we do not want with Trent. And it's important that with the sign of Ramsey bringing him into the football club just allows Trent that one or two games rest, most importantly. That's what we want. Um, but great, great shout there, yeah, of course. Hello, chat. Hello, everyone, as well. Doug, thank you for tuning in, mate. Every single one is. Hope that you, as I was saying to you, Doug, on Connor's video, you are you're writing your best, well, not your best man's, you're the man getting manies, but your, your wedding speech, Doug. I'm pretty sure that's going well, as I said. Speak from the ass, absolutely smash a fella, but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be enjoying that, mate. Hope you're having a good day, Doug, as well. Um, He's someone that is going to push Trent and can only make Trent a better player as well. Yeah, competition is never a bad thing in football, is it, Chas? As well, we all know this. Champ competition is most important as well. Danfield Lark, get in, mate. Absolute bloody legend. Hope you're having a good day, mate, and as well. As I said at the top of the show, happy Father's Day to every single one of you as well. And for the fathers that aren't with us, happy Father's Day as well. Thinking of you as well, everyone. Um, 
uh, as Andrew. Uh, we'll read out these last couple of comments and we'll just deep dive into, obviously, Jay Spear as well joining Liverpool, not as a player. I think Twitter has a meltdown thinking Liverpool just signed a 35, 36-year-old midfielder. That's the way we answer our midfield issues, isn't it? Get Jay Speed and pretty sure you can still do a job. That's a joke, everyone, if it just flew over your head. Uh, <laughs> um, also, the best thing that Ramsey has said was when he heard that we were, we were linked with him. He wanted his deal done. ASAP. Also, he said he can play uh, play winger and midfielder, so that can help us even more. Andrew, 100% there, mate. I'll just read out his comments there, but great comment there, fella, as well, indicating, as you've said, he can play midfield and he can play wide right wing as well, which is fantastic. A, a utility player, a, a player that uh, is able to play in a variety of positions, most importantly. Um, also, I can see a K- uh, deal uh, before the end of the window. Bellingham, I think, will be done. And I think we'll be keeping a hush-hush about it. Um, we'll be getting Bellingham, mate. So it won't be this season. We'll be next season anyway. Uh, we're br- he's a brilliant at going forward and amazing at set pieces as well, John. Set pieces is a massive factor as well, especially when uh, we did, <laughs> especially that Champions League final, we, we literally couldn't even whip in a cross for the, for the, for the life of us. The, the one game in which you need a good set piece taker, um, we needed that, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it, it happens and happens. But it's it's another tool to, tool to his belt. It is a massive in, will have a massive impact going through his career at Liverpool as well. Set piece taker, you can never have enough of them anyway. But we'll shoot over everyone. Um, we'll go so obviously to Calvin Ramsey, as we said, everyone, as Andrew was saying in chat before. Um, as soon as I heard the speculation from Liverpool. Um, I just wanted to get it done. I knew that's the club that I wanted to go. So it's really interesting. It's great to see a, a passionate lad. And, and, a, and, a, and a, as I said at the top of the show, everyone, this lad would have had a, a lot of options considering the ability of, of him. Um, in and around Europe, I'm pretty sure City would have been in for him as well. Chelsea, the likes of Arsenal as well. You look at a lot of teams in the Premier League, there's not a lot of good right backs, apart from obviously the likes of João Cancelo. Yes, he plays left wing back for City, but he's more or less a right back. Uh, Trent as well, Reese James. Um, and then you're looking around Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal are desperately crying out for a right back. And you would have been, a, especially obviously Tierney as well at, at, at Arsenal. But Andy Robbo would have got this deal over the line, wouldn't he? Andy Robbo would have got him, got him on the mobile, rang him up and been like, a, a fella, do you want to, uh, do you want to sign for Liverpool? Jürgen think, Jürgen's thinking of uh, signing, yeah. So, great comments from him. The eagerness from him to sign for the football club. And it was an interesting point in which, obviously, as you can see from his comments here, um, obviously, Ramsey on Robinson, as I was saying before. Uh, obviously, Scottish, same as me. And I've seen a lot of him as well because of Liverpool and Scotland as well. So, I'll be looking to lane off him as well. And obviously, translation for Jürgen as well. It'd be really helpful to have uh, Andy Robbo, especially when you got Scousers in the team as well. Yeah, Sorry, there's no uh, Scouse subtitles on this video. <laughs> uh, but he's hungry to lane, as as he's just been speaking about Andy Robinson there. And then Ramsey on Trent. He's an unreal player. So to be coming in here and laning off him, it's going to be amazing for me in terms of my development as well. So that was him speaking about, obviously, Trent, um, as we spoke about a bit before. And there's some just images, obviously, as you can see. Uh, The link is in the description. It's absolutely fantastic to see. Look at that smile, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously, checking out the new trading complex in Kirby anyway. Obviously, it did get that £50 million redevelopment um, two seasons ago. But uh, as you can see, he's, he's absolutely buzzing, and quite rightly so. He's uh, 18 years old, and he's just signed for one of the best clubs in world football. So, Ramsey, son, hopefully, you do hit the ground running. And, uh, yeah, look at that. He's absolutely made up. And he's going to be getting paid a couple more pennies anyway. A couple of, couple of hundred quid any more, more as well. But let me know your thoughts on that chat as well. We'll get to all your last comments as well before we do shoot off. But um, just a final one here, everyone. We'll speak a bit about um, the back end of the show. A couple of one or two transfers that are going in and around with European football at the minute. But as I said before, uh, Jay Spearing will be returning as our academy 
as a full-time coach with the under-18s group as well. Obviously, Jay Speeden, who was previously at Tramia Rovers, obviously he was at his time at Liverpool under Sir, uh, Sir Kenny Daglish. We all remember uh, Jay Speeden then. It was when he got the red card. I was very young then anyway, but he, he for, for what he lacked in ability, he didn't lack in passion. Scouser, he knew what it meant to play for Liverpool and he'd give everything on the pitch. And it's really great to see Liverpool looking after one of their own in reality, giving Jay the opportunity. Obviously, pretty sure given that he's, he's going to be training, well, coaching the under 18s and that age range that he, he, he's more or less will be doing his coaching badges or he will be doing his coaching badges at Liverpool. It's really good to see Liverpool looking after one of their own, as I said. So all the best to Jay Speeden in the future. Then anyway, I know Twitter did have a meltdown thinking that we were sat in a 36-year-old midfielder. Um, <laughs> but when they actually did look, it was as a coach, um, not as a player. <laughs> um, but all the best to Jay Speeden anyway. Um, but And then we're going to the final two stories now as well, everyone. Non Liverpool, but I want to know your thoughts as well. We'll be reading out all your comments. But this is an interesting story and coming from De, uh, De, Maraz, De Marazio. Um, updates Chelsea are now confident to close in on a stealing deal from Manchester City. Fee could be around 35 million. So, chat, let me know your thoughts on this. Interesting. Um, I'll tell you what. If, Still, he's a London lad, isn't he? We signed him from QPR for half a million pounds all those years ago. We'll be moving close to his kids, close to his family as well. Most importantly, I think a lot of us as fans do forget that. A lot of players, whether they move abroad or they move in and around the UK, they move away from the family. Um, unless a, a player is anticipated to be at that club for a very long time, um, they, they, they tend to move the whole family up there. Um, but it's great for Sterling. I think he will do well at Chelsea. Um, um, I think long-term, City do anticipate Jack Grealish being a, a more longer-term option down that left-hand side of their attacking line. But I think for 35 million, chat, how old is Sterling? I should have really checked how old he is, but is he, how old is he, chat? But I think 35 million, good deal. Liverpool made more money on Sterling. Um, considering when we sold him, was it back in the day for about 50 odd million? We sold Raheem Sterling for, and um, so as I said, he's moving closer to home and he's going to be in the Chelsea side under Thomas Tuchel. I think he will be required to do a lot more defensive side to his game. I think, considering obviously Thomas Tuchel, he's a, he's a master taskman, really, in reality, where he wants his fullbacks. Similar with Pep Guardiola as well. When you're playing both a Thomas Tuchel team and a, uh, a Pep Guardiola system, you're anticipated to do a lot of defensive work. And, and Tuchel's not a manager to allow his attacking players really to, to slack in terms of the defensive side of the game. But I think for 35 million, it's a good signing. I've seen a lot of comments on social media saying potentially non-Liverpool, make, make that be ad, some certain outlets um, saying potentially Liverpool could go in for Sterling. No, 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 no. Um, he's a very good player, don't get me wrong. Um, I think he, all of us anticipated him to have a, a better career. I know he's won like the league, what, City, three, four, five seasons. It, it, he's won four or five league titles. It's been successful from his point of view, but I think from the player in which we signed from QPR, I fully anticipate him to really reach bigger levels. Potentially, he still can do that at Chelsea. But I think for me, the, the, the play that in which we signed from QPR and the play in which we've seen when he was playing with Suarez, Sturridge and, and in Liverpool system all those years ago, as long as he doesn't do it at another BBC interview, I think he'd be signed, won't he? So. <laughs> but all the best to Sterling anyway. Um, and then the final one as well, everyone. Keep on getting your comments in as well, everyone. Really do appreciate it. I can see you as, as well. Um, Dan, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Dan said he's 26, isn't he? So he, he's still got a lot of development there, and he made an ear. But yeah, we'll be getting to all your comments, everyone. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so, make sure you smash that like button as well. Most importantly, hope you're all having a happy Father's Day. Um as well, and uh, having a good day, everyone. Nice sunny weather in Liverpool. It makes for a change anyway. <laughs> but uh, the final one, as we can see, uh, um, they're anticipated to lose Inchenko, aren't they, Manchester City? Um, still a very talented player, Zinchenko. I think if he does go to Everton or another player within the Premier League, um, another team in the Premier League, sorry, I think he will thrive. But Cucurella, um, he's predominantly more of a 
centre back, any of a free Brighton did play a free at the back. Um, but Cucurelli is very versatile, as we've seen in in La Liga prior to him signing for um, for Brighton. Can play on the left. It's more or less a like for like for Zinchenko, really. Cucurella can play left centre back, and especially I think I've seen reports. Uh, apologies, I'm wrong, but I think potentially um, Sterling, not Sterling, uh, Nathan Aki will potentially be leaving Manchester City. So it's it makes sense. Uh, a a centre back, a left central midfielder as well. Uh, Cucurella is. I think he'll thrive in a in a Pep Guardiola system as well. So let me know your thoughts on that. Um, uh, even it'd be interesting to see if City do replace Sterling. They've got the money to. They'll probably spend another 70, 80 odd million pounds on another attacker. That's exactly just what they do. Um, do they tend to bring in, give more game time to Jack Grealish? As I said, interesting times there, chat as well. Um, but yeah, that sums up all the news stories today, everyone. But get to all your comments before we do shoot off. We're absolute bloody legends. They've all been smashing the comments. Um, make sure I do get to every single one of yours. Um, read that one, read that one. The set pieces. Yeah, I'm back up to date now. Uh, Doug, yeah, the Peter Crouch podcast are looking for someone who's getting married to do a fake player contract signing with the wedding agreement. It's for a great prize. I'll tell you what, Doug, go ahead, fella. <laughs> Uh, 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 so I say, shout out there, Doug. If you're still watching, you never know. Um, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't been to a game since 2012, 2013 at Anfield. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try and go with you to the game this season, Andrew. Yeah, it's always difficult, Andrew, in it, mate. And obviously, I know you're back at home, mate. So yeah, it'd be great to go to the game with you, matey. Um, but hope you're having a good day, fella. And I understand why that is the case, mate, as well. Um, I want to see the new players live that can get a ticket this season. The best case, everyone, if you're tr- thinking of trying to get to a game this season, the best chance is pre-season. Um, so if you're not in a membership, I think if, you, if you're not in the membership, it's very difficult. But if you can sign up, I think it's like 25, 30 pounds. But you, you do tend to get an, quite a big opportunity to watch a pre-season as well. I remember going to the game when I was very young with my dad, very first game, but... Even if you go, it's a great opportunity anyway. Um, if it, if you can't, Andrew, I'll try and sort that out for you, mate. It's not that hard to get a ticket, Andrew. Loads of, it's very dodgy though, as I said on the channel. The, the years I've been doing this channel, everyone, be very careful. I've seen a lot of people get absolutely ripped off outside of stadiums, and you're like, it's a family of five. You've come travelled all around the globe, and it's a fake ticket, and there's nothing worse. And it's, it's horrible. So be vigilant and be careful when you are signed. The best chance is to go through the official club sources as well. Um, as they always say, go through Liverpool Football Club, most importantly. Um, it's not um I, I didn't realise he could play right mid he could play midfield. I thought he was just a right back data. Yeah, you learn something new every day, mate. Um so yeah, he can play in midfield, tends to be on the right hand side of midfield, central. Um, and obviously down the right hand, right midfield as well, playing down that right hand flank. But yeah, Dan, a bit of a rebrand, mate. Obviously, yeah. So uh, seeing how it goes, mate. But uh, thank you for tuning in, Dan. As always, over on a great day, matey. Um, I love Jay Spain. Always gives gives us all as well when he played. Yeah, as I said before, Johnny, he, he lacked in ability in certain games. But what you didn't miss was that great determination. And you die for Liverpool Football Club, most importantly, as well on the football pitch. I'm pretty sure, I think, was it the Arsenal game, as I said, away at the Emirates all those years ago? And uh, <laughs> I think it was the game when um, Kenny told um, Arsene Wenger on the touchline to F off in Scottish. Um, <laughs> we all remember that game. Uh, when a, I think, was, it, was it a Bouet give away a penalty last minute for Dear Cow to score um, from the penalty spot? Well, it, those were the days. <laughs> um, but yeah. As Dan was saying, 26, I think. Sterling is the ultimate snake. He left us for our arch rivals, used to play for QPR, and now he wants to join. Uh, he'll, he'll, chase the, he'll chase the money, the Anfield Lark, or any, whoever pays the bigger wages. I think even when he was playing at um, was it Manchester Manchester City, he'd done an interview. I don't know if it was 442 or he'd done something, really, when he was wearing a, a Real Madrid shirt, which was a bit mad. <laughs> but as I said... It's, Playing careers are very short, and if you can get more money, I think if if we were footballers, obviously we'd all love to play for our boyhood club, in which it would be Liverpool. But if you're getting offered silly money, and as I said, he's moving close to his family, 
But the one thing Sterling left City for in his interview was to win the Champions League. No comment. Um, he's won a couple of prems. Uh, can't begrudge him really. He's done really well in the league. Um, I, I, I've got, um, but City have got the best out of him really. Um, I've got done over the Everton game. Would always go through the club from now on. Yeah, spot on there, John. But there's 48 of you in here. You're absolute bloody legends. If you are new around here, would you tend to? I will try and get a kick up the backside and do more regular content. But if any news related breaks, we spoke about obviously. Calvin Ramsey a couple of days ago anyway on the channel, more or less confirming the deal. Um, Liverpool Football Club have, have come out with this, not a statement, but in terms of the behind the closed doors, this is tend to be, Liverpool have said, this is more or less our business done. There's still a long way to go in the transfer window, everyone. So don't be panicking. Liverpool won't be panicking in terms of the transfer window. Most importantly, if a player does come available or a club comes in for a, a player like Diaz, we're Tottenham going for Diaz. Liverpool last in January were like, whoa, he's one of our top targets. We'll sign him now. Similar with this summer, still uh, what? We've got until September now. Um, so Liverpool, if one of our targets does go and, and potentially is looking like a move is going to a certain club in around Europe, Liverpool will step in. We will sign a player if it is right and if the transfer fee is right and if Jürgen Klopp feels it's right, most importantly. Don't be stressing. I know it's we all love transfers, most importantly. Every single one of us do. We want to see Liverpool progressing and we will. As I said, Calvin Ramsey, 18 years old. Carvalho, still a young prospect. We we all seen his quality last season at Fulham. He's a bright player. Nunes, I've not been impressed for a very long time. It'd be sitting in the ground or come out of that ground after the second leg when we beat Benfica. Was like bloody hell, we need to sign this lad, and we have. Um, I think he will take a even if he does need a little couple of weeks to settle in but I think as soon as he does get his, his feet sorted and settled in the Premier League he'll hit the ground running I think he will be a, a breath of fresh air for Liverpool his clinical nature in front of goal I haven't seen in a very long time with an opposition player coming to Anfield uh, yes he was offside for about three of those goals but at the end of the day he's, he's going to be getting a lot of deliveries from Trent Robinson down the left Salah teared him up Diaz as well but it's funny how uh, the rest of Europe's going into the Portuguese league now to sign players after the impact in which Diaz has had at Liverpool and obviously Liverpool signing Nunes. A lot of clubs around Europe are going, hang on, this Portuguese league isn't too bad, is it, for players? <laughs> um, but everyone, let's get to all your comments before we do shoot off. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button down below. Put your bell notification on as well, so you always do get notified when a video does go live, everyone. And as I said, everyone, have a lovely rest of your Father's Day. Or to all the mums out there as well, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day and Father's Day is every single day. Appreciate your loved ones as well, everyone, um, as well. Um, so, yeah, I've got, got over the game, but read that one, mate. Uh, Phil will still sign another one or two players, Jack. John, yeah, as I said, we'll be doing a lot of shows in terms of potentially outgoings for Liverpool. We spoke about Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Um, shout out to him as well. He did uh, get my he proposed to Paddy, um, so he got engaged. So shout out to him. Probably his highlight of his uh, <laughs> highlight of his year. Anyway, can't forget those two goals in the Afcon as well, back to back goals. Um, but congratulations to Ox. Uh, not not jumping on this notion of Curtis Jones getting loan loaned out. No, no, no. Keep this lad as the football club. Still young, got a lot of development still to go. Gomez potentially will be getting a new deal, which is absolutely fantastic because we don't want to be put in a situation like Liverpool Football Club where in two seasons ago when we had Ben Davies, we had to sign him and come back on loan. No, Joe, Joe Gomez is the long term for Liverpool Football Club at our centre-halves. If we can keep him fit and we can keep him developing over the next two to three years, long term, when Van Dijk potentially does retire in the next five, six years, Joe Gomez will be him and obviously Ibu Kanate will be long-term Liverpool centre-halves as well. Um, but really excited to see Joe Gomez. Potentially, that's the rumours at the minute. We'll see if it does come to fruition, really, in reality of him signing a new deal as well, which will be fantastic. Dave, shout-out to Dave as well. Doing an absolutely 
amazing, amazing interview with, with Johnny Achtenberg. Um, Achtenberg, apologies on the pronunciation, mate. Obviously, Liverpool's current goalkeeping coach. So that's on Dave LFC Chats as well. Um, Dave, when this video has been uploaded, just drop the link in the description, mate. You probably all know who Dave is, but head over to Dave's channel, subscribe to him as well. And uh, John, hi Jack, just subbed to your channel. John, thank you very much, mate. The more the merrier, and I uh, really appreciate it, mate. As I said, I do just for the love and passion of Liverpool Football Club, everyone. Just made up to, to, that people tune in and just and speak about our passion, Liverpool Football Club. Liverpool Football Club is for everyone around the globe as well. It's absolutely fantastic. And thank you very much, John. And thank you to every single one. Is, there's, what, 102 people in here? We're absolutely bloody legends. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Father's Day. Look after yourselves as well, Reds. And really do appreciate every single one of you for tuning in on today's episode. If anything, if anything news relation breaks or if any new contract signings for Liverpool does break, I will be here straight away, everyone. But I do tend to go live most days, most nights as well. So if you don't get your notification, come on the channel most nights as well. There'll always be content as well. Absolute legends. I really do appreciate every single one of you as well. Hopefully we'll be doing a lot more collaboration soon for the upcoming season as well. And thank you to everyone that's had me on the channel, on their channels as well. You all know who you are. Absolute bloody legends. And hey, John, thank you. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button down below. We're all one big red family as well. Subscribe to everyone's channels as well. And as Dave said there in the chat, go and check this video out. It's absolutely cracking. Fantastic insight, Dave. I don't know how you do it, Dave, but you've got a way. A gift of the gab, and he's got amazing guests. So that's Dave's. Uh, if you're watching now, check it out. Johnny Actenberg, Liverpool's current goalkeeping coach as well. Ginny. Jenny's not happy. I don't know what he's happy about that. Um, but Zuki, absolute legends. I had Jack as well. Thank you, Dave. You're very welcome, mate. Thank you for all the support. Known Dave for a couple of years. Well, seems like only yesterday I met you, mate. But absolute legend. Right, I'll let you go. Enough of me jibber jabber. <laughs> we talking anyway. Everyone have a lovely rest of your day. Shout out to all the dads out there as well. And to all the dads that aren't currently with us. Shout out to them as well. I think of them as well. And uh, much love to everyone. And uh, thank you for all the continued support. Happy Father's Day as well. And everyone, Reds, Calvin Ramsey is officially a Red. Happy days. One for the future, but one for the current presence at Liverpool Football Club. Club? Football Club? Uh, go ahead, Rafa. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's one for the future. And he, he's one to give Trent competition, but it will give Trent a long-term rest in certain games this season, which we need. But Reds, love you and leave you. Well done, Dave, as well. Everyone, Look after yourselves, and if any news relation breaks, I'll be back tomorrow for another episode. Everyone subs to that. Cheers, Reds. Absolute legends. Thank you for every single one for tuning in. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. You never walk at home. Cheers. Here we can end the stream. That'll be good. <laughs> see you later, everyone.